Welcome to Brain Booster, the podcast where we explore fascinating topics from around the world. Today we're going to take a closer look at Ghana, a country located on the west coast of Africa. We'll be discussing its rich history, vibrant culture, and current events. Ghana is known for its diverse landscapes, from the lush rainforests to the sandy beaches, as well as for its vibrant music and art scene. The capital of Ghana is Accra, and it is located in West Africa, bordered by the Ivory Coast to the west, Burkina Faso to the north, Togo to the east, and the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean to the south. We hope you'll stay with us for this journey and learn something new about this fascinating country. Ghana has a rich and diverse history that has been shaped by a variety of different cultures and civilizations. One of the most important historical events that shaped Ghana was the rise of the Ashanti Empire in the late 17th century. The Ashanti were a powerful kingdom that controlled much of what is now Ghana and parts of neighboring countries. They developed a complex political system, a strong army, and a rich culture that included impressive architecture, art, and goldwork. Another key event in Ghana's history was the arrival of European colonizers in the 15th century. The Portuguese, Dutch, and British all established trading posts and forts along the coast of Ghana, which eventually led to the colonization of the country. The British established the Gold Coast Colony in 1867, which later became the independent nation of Ghana in 1957. The independence movement was led by prominent leaders such as Kwame Krumah, who helped to unite the various ethnic groups and political parties within the country and achieve independence from British colonial rule. Overall, the Ashanti Empire, arrival of European colonizers and the country's independence movement are the key historical events that shaped Ghana. These events have shaped Ghana's political and economic system and also influenced the culture and society of the country. Ghana is known for its vibrant and diverse music scene, which is influenced by a variety of different cultures and traditions. One of the most popular and enduring styles of music in Ghana is highlife. Highlife originated in the early 20th century and is a fusion of African rhythms and melodies with Western jazz and swing. The genre was particularly popular in the Gold Coast colony, which later became Ghana. Highlife musicians often incorporated Western instruments such as saxophones and trumpets into their music, as well as African percussion instruments such as the talking drum. Some of the most famous highlife musicians from Ghana include Ite Mensa, Osabisa, and Amakai Didi. Another popular style of music in Ghana is gospel, which has its roots in Christian religious music and is characterized by its uplifting and inspirational lyrics. Gospel music is particularly popular among the Christian community in Ghana and many gospel singers have become household names. Hip life and hip life are also popular styles of music in Ghana. They are a fusion of high life and hip hop and are characterized by their fast paced rhythms, catchy melodies, and socially conscious lyrics. Some of the most popular hip life and hip life artists in Ghana include Sarkoti, Shadow Whale, and M. Unifest. Finally, traditional music is also an important part of Ghana's music scene. Traditional music is often performed at festivals and ceremonies and is characterized by its use of traditional instruments and rhythms. Some popular traditional music styles in Ghana include Adawa, Keet, and Dagamba. Throughout the podcast, we will be featuring interviews with musicians who will share their personal experiences and perspectives on Ghanaian music scene and the different styles of music. We will also be playing some examples of these styles of music and discussing the cultural influences behind them. Art in Ghana has a rich history that dates back to the Ashanti Empire. The Ashanti people were known for their skill in gold work and intricate carvings, which can still be seen in traditional art forms such as canned cloth, adinkra symbols, and batik. These traditional art forms continue to be popular in Ghana today and are often used in clothing and home decor. However, Ghana is not only known for its traditional art, but also for its contemporary art. Many modern Ghanaian artists are gaining international recognition for their unique style and innovative approach to art. They are using various mediums such as painting, sculpture, and mixed media to express their ideas and push the boundaries of what is possible in the art world. Ghanaian cuisine is a delicious blend of flavors and cultures. 
It is influenced by West African, European and Asian cuisines, which gives the food a unique and diverse taste. Some popular dishes include jollof rice, which is a spicy tomato-based rice dish, banku, a fermented corn dough, kanki, a steamed dough made from ground corn, fufu, a mashed starchy root vegetable, wakai, a popular dish made from rice and beans, and groundnut soup, a hearty soup made with peanuts. These dishes are typically made with locally sourced ingredients such as cassava, yam, and plantains, which adds to the authentic taste of Ghanaian cuisine. Ghana's economy has been growing steadily in recent years, with a focus on industries such as mining, oil and gas, and agriculture. The country is a significant producer of gold, cocoa, and timber, and the mining and oil and gas sectors have been major drivers of economic growth. However, Ghana also faces a number of economic challenges. One significant challenge is high inflation and unemployment rate, which can be attributed to a lack of diversification of the economy and a reliance on a few key industries. Another challenge is the country's heavy debt burden, which has limited the government's ability to invest in infrastructure and social services. Additionally, Ghana has been facing a challenging external environment with the fall in commodity prices, which has led to a reduction in export revenues. In order to address these challenges, the government has been implementing economic policies such as infrastructure development, industrialization, and diversification of the economy. Ghana is a democratic republic with a presidential system of government. The president serves as both the head of state and the head of government and is elected by popular vote for a four-year term. The president has the power to appoint ministers, judges, and other officials, and also has the power to veto legislation passed by the National Assembly. The National Assembly, which consists of the 275-member parliament and the 27-member council of state, is responsible for making laws and overseeing the government. The parliament is made up of members of parliament, MPs, who are elected by popular vote in individual constituencies, while the Council of State is made up of appointed and elected representatives. Recent political developments in Ghana include the 2020 general election which was won by Nana Addo Dankwa Akufuado of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, who won a second term as the president of Ghana. The election was peaceful and marked the fourth consecutive change of power through the ballot box since the return to democracy in 1992. Another recent development is the formation of the 8th Parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana, which was inaugurated on January 7, 2021. The new parliament has seen the emergence of new leaders as well as a new balance of power between the ruling party and the opposition. Welcome to our podcast on Ghana's tourism industry. Ghana, located in West Africa, is a country known for its rich culture, history, and natural beauty. In recent years, the country has seen a steady growth in its tourism industry, with more and more visitors coming to experience what Ghana has to offer. With a wide range of destinations and attractions to choose from, Ghana is becoming an increasingly popular tourist destination. From its bustling cities to its lush national parks, and from its rich cultural heritage to its stunning beaches, Ghana has something for everyone. With its growing tourism industry, Ghana has the potential to become a major player in the African tourism market. In this podcast, we will take a closer look at some of the top destinations and attractions in Ghana and what visitors can expect when they come to this beautiful country. When it comes to popular destinations in Ghana, Accra, Cape Coast, and Kumasi are at the top of the list. Accra, the capital city of Ghana, is a bustling metropolis with a vibrant atmosphere. Visitors can explore the city's many markets, museums, and historical sites, including the Independence Square and the Kwame Krumah Memorial Park. Accra is also known for its lively nightlife and delicious street food. Cape Coast, located on the coast, is another popular destination for visitors. This city is home to several important historical sites, including the Cape Coast Castle and the Kakam National Park. The castle was a major center for the transatlantic slave trade, and visitors can learn about the history of the slave trade and its impact on Ghana. Kakam National Park is a beautiful rainforest reserve where visitors can walk on the canopy walkway suspended 30 meters above the ground. 
Kumasi, located in the Ashanti region, is the cultural heart of Ghana and the former capital of the Ashanti Kingdom. Visitors can explore the city's many historical sites and monuments, including the Manhaya Palace Museum and the Prempe II Jubilee Museum. Kumasi is also known for its traditional markets, where visitors can find a wide range of traditional Ghanaian crafts and textiles. These destinations offer a glimpse into Ghana's rich culture, history, and natural beauty. Visitors can explore the bustling cities, learn about the country's past, and experience the natural beauty of Ghana. Ghana is a country with a rich cultural and historical heritage. Visitors can explore a wide range of cultural and historical attractions to learn more about the country's past and its people. One of the most popular cultural and historical attractions in Ghana is the Kakam National Park, located in the central region of Ghana. This rainforest reserve is home to a diverse array of plant and animal life, as well as the Canopy Walkway, which is suspended 30 meters above the ground and offers visitors a unique perspective of the forest. Visitors can also learn about the local Ashanti people and their traditional customs and beliefs. Another popular cultural and historical attraction is the Ashanti Kingdom. The Ashanti Kingdom was one of the most powerful empires in West Africa and has a rich cultural heritage. Visitors can learn more about Ashanti history, culture, and traditions by visiting the Manhaya Palace Museum in Kumasi and the Prempe II Jubilee Museum, which showcases Ashanti culture, history, and artifacts. The Elmina Castle is also a major historical attraction. This castle, located on the coast, was built by the Portuguese in the 15th century and was later used as a center for the transatlantic slave trade. Visitors can learn about the history of the castle and the slave trade and its impact on Ghana. These cultural and historical attractions offer visitors a glimpse into Ghana's rich past and the opportunity to learn more about the country's culture, history, and people. Ghana is home to many beautiful natural attractions that offer visitors a chance to experience the country's stunning natural beauty. One of the most popular natural attractions in Ghana is the Mole National Park. This park is located in the northern region of Ghana, it is the largest national park in the country and home to a wide variety of wildlife, including elephants, antelopes, warthogs, and over 300 species of birds. Visitors can go on safari to see the animals in their natural habitat, or explore the park on foot or by bike. Another popular natural attraction is the Ankasa Conservation Area. This area is located in the western region of Ghana and is known for its diverse array of plant and animal life, including primates, butterflies, and over 300 species of birds. Visitors can explore the area on foot, by boat, or by car, and also take part in the conservation efforts of the area. The Bobing Fima Monkey Sanctuary is another popular natural attraction. Located in the Brangahafo region, it is a unique sanctuary that is home to two species of primates, the Mona monkey and the black and white colobus monkey. Visitors can take guided tours to see the monkeys in their natural habitat and learn more about the conservation efforts to protect them. These natural attractions offer visitors a chance to get out of the city and experience Ghana's diverse natural beauty. Ghana offers a wide range of adventure and outdoor activities for visitors to enjoy. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or simply looking for a fun day out in nature, there's something for everyone. One popular adventure activity in Ghana is hiking. There are many trails and routes to explore, including the Kakam National Park Canopy Walkway, the Mole National Park, and the Ankasa Conservation Area. These trails offer visitors the chance to explore the country's diverse landscapes and see a variety of plant and animal life. Bird watching is another popular outdoor activity in Ghana. With over 800 species of birds, the country is a bird watcher's paradise. Some popular bird watching spots include the Mole National Park, the Kakam National Park, and the Ankasa Conservation Area. Visitors can see a variety of bird species, including the African Grey Parrot, the Black-Necked Weaver and the African Harrier Hawk. Water sports such as swimming, snorkeling, and canoeing are also popular in Ghana. The coast of Ghana offers some of the most beautiful beaches in West Africa. 
Visitors can swim in the warm waters of the Gulf of Guinea, snorkel and dive to see the colorful marine life, or take a canoe to explore the mangrove swamps. These adventure and outdoor activities offer visitors a chance to explore Ghana's diverse landscapes and wildlife, and to experience the country's natural beauty in an active and adventurous way. In summary, Ghana is a great destination for tourists due to its rich culture, history, natural beauty and diverse range of destinations and activities. Visitors can experience the bustling cities and rich cultural heritage in places like Accra, Kumasi and Cape Coast, as well as the natural beauty of places like Mole National Park, the Nkasa Conservation Area, and the Bobing Fema Monkey Sanctuary. The country also offers a wide range of adventure and outdoor activities such as hiking, bird watching, and water sports. When visiting Ghana, tourists can expect to be welcomed by friendly locals, to enjoy delicious local cuisine, and to experience a unique and diverse culture. They can also expect to be amazed by the natural beauty of the country, and to learn more about its history, customs, and traditions. Ghana is a destination that offers something for everyone and is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit it. In conclusion, we have discussed the rich culture, history, and natural beauty of Ghana, as well as the growing tourism industry and the wide range of destinations and activities that the country has to offer. From the bustling cities to the lush national parks, Ghana is a destination that offers something for everyone. We have also highlighted some of the most popular destinations such as Accra, Cape Coast, and Kumasi in cultural and historical attractions such as the Kakam National Park, the Ashanti Kingdom, and the Elmina Castle, as well as some of the most popular natural attractions, adventure, and outdoor activities. As we have seen, Ghana has a lot to offer tourists and has the potential to become a major player in the African tourism market. We would like to thank you for listening to this podcast and for your interest in learning more about Ghana. We hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. If you enjoyed this podcast, please consider subscribing to our channel and checking out our other videos. We will continue to explore the best that Ghana has to offer and we look forward to sharing it with you. Thank you for listening.